<laughs> Hello and welcome to Did You Know Gaming Extra, and today we'll be talking about scientific findings related to video games. While gaming is primarily an entertainment industry, the community behind it often contributes to culture and society through art, charity events, or even by helping unearth scientific discoveries. As can be seen with the online game Fold It, a puzzle game that scores players on how well they fold a protein molecule. The game saw players managing to outdo scientists at their own job in a competition to identify the shape of a certain protein, YPL067C. Unlike conventional research into protein model building, players of Foldit work collaboratively online to come to their result. The scientists looking for the shape of the protein included two trained crystallographers, two separate computer algorithms, and 61 undergraduates using a computer modeling program in class. However, the discovery in question ultimately came from the 469 participants of the online game who successfully identified the shape of the protein. James Bardwell, a professor of molecular, cellular, and developmental biology at the University of Michigan stated, it shows that anybody with a 3D mentality, including gamers, can do something that previously only scientists did, and in doing so they can help scientific progress. The study also suggests that the fun nature of playing Foldit could assist people in learning more about a subject naturally, rather than traditional classroom learning. It's also believed by several neuroscientists that playing video games can alter human behavior and shape regions of our brain. By extrapolating data from a number of studies, it has been shown that gaming can affect the visual spatial skills of players. The media has often both praised and demonized the effects games can have on the brain, but it's rare that real scientific data can back up their claims. However, the collective conclusion of 116 studies has brought a number of interesting revelations. People who play games on a regular basis show changes in their attention, with some studies concluding that sustained or selective attention are improved. Exploring the effects of visuospatial skills, some studies have shown that the right hippocampus of the brain, most associated with long-term memory and spatial navigation, is enlarged in not just those who have played games longer term, but also those who volunteered with little gaming background prior to the tests. However, another part of the study demonstrates the negative elements to the leisure activity. Scientists have found that both functional and structural changes can occur to the portion of the brain that makes the human feel rewarded. Changes to the brain's reward functions for gaming are similar to those with addictive disorders, suggesting that there might be more to this issue than previously thought. Exposure to video games has increased dramatically recently with the rise of casual gaming in the mobile phone industry, meaning that these sorts of studies can be revealing to how the market's choices alter the behavior of vast numbers of people. While studies can reveal some information behind how games change behavior, it's not always possible to have strong evidence due to the inconsistent test results and the wide range of differences between the individuals playing the game and the games used in each study. Riot Games, creators of League of Legends, took notice of the behavior of its users. Wanting to move the community of their game away from hostility, the company hired a team of researchers to study player interactions with one another. With 67 million players worldwide and revenue exceeding $1.25 billion, Riot is an important player in gaming and is one of the few companies open about their involvement in this type of research. Riot altered the game's pre-match tips, suggesting that the players give each other constructive feedback or simply not curse at someone for making a mistake. These suggestions reduced negative attitudes in matches by roughly 8.3% and helped show where toxic behavior can spawn from. Their research could have further reaching implications, with academic collaborators looking into how it can be used to make a more civil environment across other parts of the internet and business. And now it's time for today's random piece of trivia. We're looking at the GameCube and PS2 cult classic Killer7, specifically the time of its release. The game follows the story of the Killer7, a group of seven assassins. The game was delayed before its release, not to tweak the game prior to its launch, but it seems that the delay was simply to have the game release on July 7, making the date of the release 7-7. That's all from me. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button. It really does help us out, and you clearly love hearing us ramble on. So why not subscribe as well? If you're already subscribed, you already did the right thing. So you get a reward, probably. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs>